Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Ashley Elizabeth and I'm a makeup artist from the UK. <laughs> Today I wanted to create a full glam using just the Molly O'Brien brushes which are incredible if you follow me over on Instagram or if you've attended any of my lessons or masterclasses or anything at all you will know how much I love these brushes. When anyone asks me what brush set do you recommend I go straight for the Molly O'Brien sets. This video is not sponsored in any way shape or form I literally just wanted to sit down and create something with these brushes because they are absolutely my favourites. So, here we go. So, I'm just going to start off with a little bit of primer today. Now, I didn't think those words would ever come out of my mouth because I don't like primers whatsoever. But I've been wanting to branch out and experiment with different things. So, I have grabbed the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and I do get quite oily around like my under eye area and my forehead. So, I'm going to give this a go and just see if it makes any difference. One thing I do like about this one, this primer, even though it's a pore filling primer, it doesn't feel very silicone-y. I absolutely hate the feeling of silicone primers. So I'm going to start with my foundation today and I'm going to take the Maybelline Superstay 30 Hour Wear Foundation. So this is the shade Soft Bronze. And I have got two foundation brushes from Molly O'Brien to use today, so I'm going to be using both of them. First up, we've got the B brush. I love that these brushes have got like names to them, you know, like B and P and there's a Molly and a Millie and an Arabella and a Nat and I know she names them after people in her life, her friends, her family, which I just think that's just lovely, isn't it? So, oh, so we started with that one and then I've also got the P brush, which is this like flat pack and brush. So I'm going to get the product all over my face with this first and then I'm going to pass over with the P brush. Then just to make sure that's worked in, going in with that P brush. When a makeup artist creates brushes, you can tell because the quality is just insane because they know what to look for and they know what people want. So I feel like you can actually tell with these brushes that they're not just they're not just a gimmick. They are actually quality brushes. And I love that there's so much variation as well. Like there's not just one foundation brush, there's a couple different types so if you like to buff if you like to pat it on or if you like really like coverage there's like several different options for you then just to make sure that's all worked into the skin and build up any coverage anywhere that i want i'm going to take the pea brush this one's really good for like really really working in foundation concealer or anything you could even use this for like cream contour and just a quick side note i know this video isn't about the primer but that primer seems to be sitting quite well underneath my foundation so we'll see i might be a com a primer convert so i'm just going to grab my concealer next and i'm going to use the collection last and perfection concealer and this is the shade number seven which is biscuit and i'm just going to get that on in all them regular concealer spots and then to blend that in i'm actually going to take a fluffy brush and the Nat brush is just perfect for this step. So it's just like your classic fluffy blending brush. I might have gone in with a little bit too much product. So I'm going to keep my pea brush to hand just to help us blend that in. And then just softening that under eye concealer in. Grabbing my foundation brush again and just patting all over them edges just to make sure it's nice and blended i'm actually going to brighten that under eye up just a little bit more so i'm going to grab the same collection concealer but this is the shade number five instead and i'm just going to get that right up in the inner corners just to make us look a little bit more awake i'm just going to use the exact same brush that i used to blend the concealer the first time patting that in so the only thing I don't really have out of this set is a pat, like an under eye powder brush. This is what I normally use to create, to like powder my under eyes. I don't have the full range of Molly O'Brien brushes. I mean, I've got enough of them, but I don't have the full range. So she might do one in her set, but I'm just going to 
deviate for a moment and use this today. This is the Real Technique setting brush. And I'm just gonna set my under eyes with my Huda Beauty Pound Cake. Guys, we might be able to a winner with this with this primer. For blush, I'm gonna grab my Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio, and this is the shade Peachy Love. And for that, I am going to use the Daz brush, which is this gorgeously domed powder brush. A little mixture of all of the three shades. I feel like blush is my favorite part because it starts bringing some like color back to your face. Ah, oh, my hair's fell out. <laughs> I feel like this is like perfectly shaped for blush. It's not too big. I don't like them huge blush brushes. I like to keep mine like quite precise. For bronzer today, I'm gonna take my MAC Minimalized Skin Finish and this is the shade Give Me Sun. And for that, we are gonna go in with the Angled Contour Brush, which is Arabella. So I love this for both powder, bronzer and cream bronzer. It blends really well because it's still quite fluffy, but it's quite dense as well. So I like to just pat on first because i've been using my nars laguna bronzer for a while which is slightly more cool toned this feels really warm for me today then just to run that up the sides of my nose i'm just going to grab a small little blending brush and this is called fran so it's just a typical blending brush gonna grab a beauty sponge and add a little bit of my Huda powder underneath that contour line. I'm just gonna leave that there while I highlight. For highlighter I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt highlighter and this is the Hustler Baby one and for that we're gonna grab the highlighting brush which is called Layla. This is so beautiful it looks like an eyeshadow blending brush but it is for highlighter. I mean, I suppose you could use it for either or. We love a multi-purpose tool. I love the size of this one. It is perfect. I like quite a pinpointed highlight. I don't like to like blow it up everywhere. I want it to stay where I put it. I want to brighten that up a little bit because I feel like it's a little bit too dull. It's too gold for my skin tone. So I'm going to go in with, I'm going to go in with a little touch of the Jolie Beauty Second Skin Highlighter. And this is in the shade Saintly. So it's still got them gold tones, but it's a little bit brighter. So I'm just going to, whoops. I'm just going to use the exact same brush and just go over everywhere. I've just put that Fenty highlighter. Back with Daz just to go over that blush and make sure everything's all blended. And I'm just going to brush away that Huda Beauty powder using the Lily brush, which is just like a duo fibre brush. So that is pretty much the face completely done. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to nip off camera and complete one eye and one brow off camera. So I can just get a sense of where I am going and then I will pop back and create this eye for you all to see. I'm back. So this is what we've created. I've gone for something quite neutral, but with a little splash of colour today. So I've zoomed you in a little bit so we can get started on this side. So I'm going to start off with my brows. So I'm going to grab my Illamasqua Eyebrow Cake in the shade Thunder. And the brush I'll be using is the Millie brush, which is this like angled liner. I just love this brush. Just look. I don't know if you can see on camera, but how thin the tip of that brush is. These are amazing for both brows and if you're doing eyeliner and any line work like that. So if you've never used the eyebrow cake before, you can use it both dry and wet. And normally I use it wet, which gives like quite a strong pigmentation, you know, like kind of like pommy. But when you use it dry, it gives off more of like a powder finish, which is just a little bit more soft and natural. I'm going more towards the natural vibes, guys. I don't know what's wrong with me. So this next brush is pretty much the main reason I am such a Molly O'Brien stan. This brush came to me in a time of need. It made me the cut crease queen that I am today and I could not live without it. And it's the Jim Bob. 
this is the best cut crease brush that I have used. I love the like rounded shape of it. It just makes it so easy to stamp out that crease. I'll be here for days if I try and go through everything I love about this brush, but it is unreal. If you are thinking about trying any of these brushes out, I would highly suggest this one. So I'm just gonna use it to get my eye base on today. So I am gonna use my P. Louise eyeshadow base, and this is in the shade number two. So I'm gonna use this brush just to carve out under them brows. And like I mentioned, because of the shape of it, just like the tip of the brush, does all the work for you it's so easy to do anything with this brush like look how quick and easy that was so now that that concealer is nice and evenly distributed over that eye i'm just going to switch to the tory brush which is like a concealer buffer and i'm just going to use this to pat that concealer sorry that eye base in and dry it down ready before we go in with any eyeshadow these brushes are just so easy to use. Just like a couple taps and that was done. So now it's time for eyeshadows. And the palette I'm going to be using today is the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. This thing is a beauty. I was so lucky with this palette, by the way, can I just say. I've been wanting Natasha Denona palettes for the longest time. And this one has caught my eye from time to time. But it was just the price tag because they are £110. But then I went to Selfridges after Christmas and this was half price in the Boxing Day sale. So I got this for £55 instead of £110. A second I saw that, I had to buy it because when, el when else are you going to get a good deal like that? I actually haven't used it yet. So I figured what better time to use it than today. So the first shade I'm going to go in with is this dark brown here. They do have names. This one's called Antique. There's like a little slip over the top. So just this dark brown in the corner there. The first brush I'm going to use on my eye today is the Gracie brush, which is just this little st short stubby blending brush. So I'm just going to pack this shade all through my crease. And these eyeshadows are so creamy. Like I've never come across a formula like it. So the Gracie is really good for just pinpointing where you want shadow. It's kind of like an enlarged pencil brush. That's why I'm using it for this stage because I like to keep my crease colour very precise before I go in and blend. Then I'm just keeping hold of the exact same brush and just lightly tickling that edge. Just to start blending slightly before we go in with our next shade. And the next shade I'm gonna go in with is the one directly above that first one, which is this one here. This one's called Pure. And for this, I'm gonna take one of the XMO brushes. So this is a new collection that Molly brought out, which was like, which was just really amped up, like bigger brushes, better quality, just like this really exclusive collection. So this is the XMO5, which is like this tapered blender. So I'm gonna take this and that second shade and just start buffing that right the way around that darkest color. And I really like this because like the Gracie, it has got a bit of a point to it. So I can really get in and work that colour on exactly where I want it without it like blowing out. Then again, just keeping hold of the same brush and just blending off that edge. Then I'm going to grab a super fluffy brush. This is the Shani. I'm going to go in with this shade here. I don't know how to describe this. It's like a caramel tone. This one's called Rope. And I'm just going to buff this all around that outer edge. This one comes out a lot darker than it appears in the pan. Like when you look in the pan, it just looks like a like a nudie colour, but it does come out like a really nice caramel tone. I know this isn't in Natasha Denona review, but this palette is lovely. So once I'm happy with how that's looking, I'm just going to go back down my other colours and just rebuild them back up. So I'll speed this up a little bit. So 
So once I'm at this stage, I'm going to grab another brush from the XMO range. And this is the XMO3. And I'm going to go in with this super gorgeous green shimmer just here. This one is called jubilee so i'm going to pick up a little bit of that on my brush but before i go onto the eye i'm just going to take a little smidge of my all nighter and just give it a little spray just to make it pop a little bit more and then as i get up towards the crease i'm going to start buffing that shade into the brown eyeshadows that have already popped on that's why i like this brush because it is flat so that you can pack the shadows on but it's also got a little fluff to it, so you can also blend slightly too. This green is just incredible. I'm just gonna jump over and do my under eye. So I'm gonna take my Urban Decay 24 seven glide on pencil, and this is the shade Electric Empire. So I'm using this in my waterline and I'm just running it through them bottom lashes to act as a bit of a base for the green underneath the eye. Then I'm going to grab the XMO6, which is just like a pencil brush, and I'm going to blend that out. And then just with the same brush, I'm going to grab that green shimmer shade and just get that right on top. Then we're going to get that greasy brush again with a bit of our darkest brown and just tickle that edge. Then I'm just going to grab a char char brush, which is just this little blending brush. I'm going to get some of that lightest tone that we used and just add that in to the under eye. Then I'm going to add a little touch of brow bone highlight. So I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is like a goldy shimmer. That one is called Queen. And I'm going to take the Kyra brush, this pencil brush. Then I'm just going to add a little smidge to that inner corner just to brighten it up. So just moving on to lashes, I'm going to grab my Molly Cosmetics multi-pack. This is the Flutter Eyes multi-pack. I'm just going to take the top one here, which is called Flutter. And while I just wait for the glue to dry on that, I'm just going to pop on a little bit of mascara. So I'm just using my Morphe Make It Big mascara. That is all for the eyes. So I've zoomed you back out while I do the lips. So for lip liner, I'm going to take my Morphe Lip Pencil and this is in the shade Coffee and Kissy. Then I'm just going to top that with a lip gloss and I'm using the Kiko Milano 3D Hydra Lip Gloss. This is in the shade number 20. Then just to finish everything off, I'm going to give a quick spray with my Urban Decay All Nighter. And there we have it. That is today's finished look. I hope you all enjoyed this video and seeing the Molly O'Brien brushes in action and the many different ways that you can use them all. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button. Also, leave me a little comment. Let me know if you tried any of the Molly O'Brien brushes in the past and which one's your fave. Do you love them? Of course you do. How could you not love them? Thank you all so much for watching today's video and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!